What is up you guys, Razor here, and Luna and Ultimate Valby are either almost here or here depending on when you're watching this video. But make sure you comment OG if you're here before the new update. Either way, this is crucial and really important to know in general. So of course with the new update comes new Transcendent mods, four for Luna and one for Ultimate Valby, specifically for her Ultimate Edition. So here is a really good method to earn any red mod in general, and this is much faster than grinding an operation for a 1.5 or even a 3% chance. You'll be doing that over and over again. This is a much faster method in my opinion. The intercept bosses drop a lot more transcendent mods than any other mission in the entire game. Multiple a fight is pretty insane. Not every time, but at least usually one a fight. Sometimes zero, don't get me wrong, but usually one to two every single boss fight in hard. I'm sure you guys know by now, but if you go to your overall map and then click access info, you can see where anything is in the game. For example, we're talking about the mods. If I were to look for this, I would press the acquisition info button at the bottom left and it'll show me exactly where it is. It only has one option, one boss fight. Usually there's a lot more options. And from what I've seen, bosses tend to drop more types of red mods than they even should. So what you can do is grind an easy boss like the Devourer, which takes around two minutes if you have an endgame build. For multiple drops, or whoever you need to face for Amorpheus materials, you can also grind their external component sets at the same time. Once you've grinded a good amount of mods, you head over to the Goat Salian. Now here's a huge tip. When you go dismantle mods, at the bottom right corner, you can hold this button, I'm sure you're used to doing it, but when you hold it, it literally does all the mods, even your very important ones. But what you could be doing instead of doing this is making sure you unclick all the transcendents so you're not burning any of these. Make sure you get them all. And by the way, you can just filter it by going to this page right here. And then you dismantle any other kinds. It'll say high value for the gold ones. That's fun. Get rid of them. Get the free Kuiper. And at the bottom, this is where you can get a new transcendent mod. Make sure you set it to quantity so that the duplicates go right beside each other. And disclaimer, you can get the same mod that you already have. It's not gonna always give you a new one that you don't have yet. It'll even sometimes give you one that you're currently rolling. I'll use four for the sake of the video though. These are all duplicates. Only 20k, it's not bad. Nero Toxin. So, I got a duplicate but I have a lot of mods and there's five new mods coming out and this is why you want to make sure you do a quick boss because if you grind out a whole bunch of these it won't be that bad if you're doing 10 rolls at a time. And this is a good way to collect them all. They're like Pokemon to me. I want to make sure I have all of them. I think I need like 10 of them or so. If you guys are seeing this before the patch, make sure you grind out the Kuiper and Gold big time because leveling up these red mods are super expensive. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and if you didn't, be sure to leave a dislike. Either way, hit that sub bell, set it to all noties so you don't miss another First Ascended video. My First Ascended code is in the bio if you plan on going big on Ultimate Valby. And best of luck on your rerolls. I'm out. Peace.